I did a video recently on Velomobiles and a number of people asked about the safety factor and if you can take a Velomobile on the highway. Well, this video is going to be about Velomobiles that can be registered. You can take them on the highway, even in the U.S. In fact, some of them have already been sold on the U.S. market. There aren't many vehicles like this and we are definitely going way into the future of where car manufacturing is going to be probably by the year 2040 or 2050 so ultra lightweight airplane like aerodynamics and uh, a way of self charging from solar from wind from even the temperature changes and the magnetism of the earth which is just beginning to develop. At this point, we are just talking about solar batteries. And the first ride I'm going to look at is the Aptera. The Aptera has been around for years and I've been following them, but initially it looked like it's not going to make it because even though the idea was great to create a three-wheeler just like a very big Velomobile with two people sitting side by side, the wheels fully covered, perfect aerodynamics. The problem was that every prototype they brought out had these rough edges like it was just hacked together. It sort of looked like the way it looks today but it just wasn't something that you could put on the on the market and compete against Toyota and Daimler and Volkswagen and all the rest of them. But they have kept on working and refining and refining and now they have something that looks really enticing. The interior is rather spartan, sort of minimalist like a Tesla, but it's not bad. It's not bad looking. I guess this is the design language of a modern electric rig. And compared to what you get in a standard Velomobile, this is very luxurious. So far, it looks like this uh, Aptera two-seater is going to go on the market in the U.S. in 2024. This would have happened possibly two or three years earlier, but the lockdown and all the circus in the past really factored in. And I'm kind of worried about the wars that are going on today and what's going to, how it's going to affect the Western industry once again. But on the other hand, because the Red Sea Passage is being ruined by current American policy. It's likely that the cost of gasoline is going to continue to edge up. Plus the war on the Eastern Front in Ukraine is probably not going to stop. It's going to go on for years. And uh, even if there is some peace with the Russians, there's going to be some boycotts or uh, some, some measures that are going to make gasoline a lot more expensive. So I'm just thinking that the market is there and it's going to be there even more so in the future for something like this. So what are the specs? Aptera is very shy about telling us about the weight of this trike. But I think just looking at the materials and the size of this thing, it's about a half a ton. To give you a comparison, a smart for two car that teeny tiny little car with two seats in it weighs a little over a ton. So these kinds of highway velomobiles are really, really light. The acceleration from zero to 60, even for a base model, is somewhere around six seconds, which is currently a sports sedan level of performance, something like an Acura or a lower level BMW. So it's really not bad. And what's really interesting about the Aptera specifically is that it uses solar panels throughout and you can put solar panels even on top of the dash. So because of the big sunny windshield, you have plenty of sunlight if the sun is up. And according to the company's own claim, that should give you about 40 miles of range just from the sun charged outside for a day on a sunny day. The average American drives about 30 miles. So that would mean that the average driver would never even have to plug this thing in. Only when you go on the longer trip, 
only then would you have to stop at charging stations and add some charge but for local driving this would be free energy a free car to drive practically no maintenance at all just like with most electrics and not much of a need to plug in either i think that's sensational and i'm really excited to watch where this is going to go in 2024 hopefully uh, they're already taking reservations so hopefully we are going to begin to see some of these cars on the road this is an american company so there shouldn't be any problem having to import them into the country if you don't live in the u.s that might be a different game i have no idea what the plan is as far as a european or asian marketing campaign but it looks really interesting for the u.s market would I have done anything differently? I guess the one thing I would do differently would be that I would place the passenger behind the driver and make the cockpit have the width. So very, very narrow, just like you see on some of the smaller uh, tandem planes where there is a, there are two people sitting in a small sports plane. And some small plane seat people beside each other but it's much more aerodynamic to seat the passenger in the back. I realize that from a marketing point of view, that might not work as well. Maybe that's too strange for people. But I think the whole appearance of this thing is going to be for early adapters because most of the people would rather buy uh, a Toyota Prius or a Camry or, or an Accord or something like that. So this is going to be for a minority in the market. But even if they, they sell a few thousand, a few tens of thousands, that would certainly alert the market that there is something going on. The second ring I'm going to look at is the Twike. The Twike <clears throat> is a German company. This is also a trike, but it has two wheels in the rear and only one wheel in the front which is actually not as um, not as stable even though some of the upper level models and this is true of the Aptera as well can crank up the speed to 100 miles an hour and even faster which is just insane speed for this teeny tiny plastic plastic aluminum carbon fiber rigs um, there was a, a trike 3 which might still be floating around on the market they are taking reservations for the trike 5 which to my knowledge is not yet on the market in the u.s hopefully next year but uh, the trike 3 has been around for a long time a very small number of them had been sold to the u.s market i think it was <clears throat> fewer than a dozen americans that bought the the trike 3 but the trike 3 could be as light as a quarter of a ton. The newer version, the Twike 5, is going up to a half a ton. Similar weight as the Aptera, but very different because you can actually pedal. So this, this trike is not even hiding the fact that it's uh, derived from a Velomobile engineering and design idea. You can actually pedal inside but you don't have a connected feeling to the car because you are pedaling to generate energy to fill the battery. So instead of a solar charging system, you have a satellite powered uh, system where the driver and also the passenger can pedal, even if the car is not moving. So you could be standing in a red light and still pedaling and charging the battery it must be a weird feeling because you're not connected to the ride the same way as you would be on a bicycle but it is interesting and the specs on the car are really good um, depending on which model you get you you can have a range over 150 miles which is really nice uh, speed could go up to close to about 100 miles a, an hour and uh, there isn't a lot of charging to do. So even on a 110 volt charger, if you plug it in overnight, you can actually charge it up. And if you have more than that, if you have a 220 or 240, then it will be just a few hours. So if you go on a long trip, there are charging stations already, at least as far as the US is concerned, but also in Europe, you, you can buy a membership or 
pay by the charge and, and there are actually quite a number of charging stations around and you can charge this one without any plugging in just by pedaling although it, it would take a lot of pedaling to get anywhere with that so that's the one issue with it solar gives you a lot more energy and a lot a uh, lot more of an effortless way of, of charging without having to pay these this basically is all you have these two these two rides the Aptera and the Twilight and the earliest you can get them in in 2024 now just for fun I'm going to include an attempt from for Morgan Morgan is a much more famous much more established English company they have been around for over a century they actually started out making trikes they have never made a velomobile but they did uh, create a prototype of an electric trike which could have gone on the market for probably around fifty thousand dollars i think uh, they pulled the idea for now but i think that's because of problems with the suppliers maybe they should give a call to grin and get, get some decent supplies for electric motors and, and batteries but I think there is a market for a trike which they are already selling. They already have a gasoline trike. And what they need to do is the first model that you see here was just not adequate. I would say it would have to have classic Morgan styling, but it would also have to be fully aerodynamic. In other words, the wheels should be fully covered. This Cyclops one-eyed look, I really don't like. I don't think anybody likes it and the incision in the hood in the front is just going to create an, a turbulence and the cockpit has to be fully covered for this thing to be as aerodynamic as a Twig or as an Aptera but I think in the future Morgan might just uh, might just uh, return to this idea and they might be able to build something that could go on the market eventually I hope it's going to happen that's it for this uh, episode on velomobiles. I've never owned a velomobile myself, but uh, it is something that I would consider. This is it for the current video. I'm putting links below. Check out the websites of the manufacturers. And if anybody buys any of these rigs, we would definitely like to see it.